set the NSLA money aside. I mean, all the research told us you've got to spend more money on those children who are in poverty. You've got to focus more funds on those. What we didn't know exactly, and, that, and what we did was, was kind of gave a broad range of what districts could do, uh, programs that were recognized to try to achieve, to, to use those funds for, and those had to be approved by the department and those kind of things. So we, we put that money out there with programs we, we thought and best of our knowledge at the time had been researched would be effective. And I think uh, Representative Brainy is exactly right. What we've got to do really now, if there has been enough time, and that's what somebody's got to give us an opinion on, has there been enough time transpired that we should start seeing? And if we're seeing that, I mean, we're seeing some results, is that are the increases, all those white students are increasing as well, so the gap's still there. But what is causing are there certain programs out there that are causing the Hispanic and black students to rise and, and finding out what those are so we can target a little more, uh, maybe put a little more emphasis in terms of that. The other question I've got, so we've got this handled about the study going on, is when will we see, I'm, I'm trying to backtrack years in my head, when will we see, and I think this is where long term, we're really going to see the results in the achievement gap, and that is the commitment we've made to pre-K and a lot of those students who when we started the funding in 03, 04 I believe maybe in fourth grade this year that'd be about right so it, do we have anything prior to this or is, it, is there a way to obtain some information I think that would be an interesting piece of information if those students who were involved in pre-K targeted more towards uh, poverty students what information is out there? It's been a while since I've looked at it, and, and it may be that it's, it's later on this year we start seeing it to see what uh, what that has, what kind of effect that has had. We we do have uh, uh, lots of praise given to the ABC pre-K program across the state over the past few years. So presumably, as the 08, 09, uh, 2010 uh, NAEP scores come out, we can begin to see. Ideally, if, if the theory is right, we should begin to see improvements, uh, enhanced improvements now, because we're dealing with children now who are ready to go to school and who also face the uh, stronger curriculum, the more rigorous curriculum in our elementary schools. So we should begin to see more changes. And let me wrap briefly to the, to the question of doing this study. Uh, we spoke with Charity Smith and legislative uh, uh, research earlier this morning and that would be something we'd uh, like to team up with the groups on, highlighting schools that are doing a good job and getting in there and figure out what they're doing. That's the sort of thing we think we should be doing for the four-year committee. Thank you, Doug. Okay, thank you.